Hello everybody, welcome back to Universe Sandbox. Today we're gonna combine every single planet along with a bunch of other things that you guys suggested. If you'd like to leave a suggestion, make sure you're subscribed and use hashtag Earthling on your comment so I know that it's a suggestion. This is Earthling by the way, he reads them all too. All right, so like I said, our first suggestion is to combine every single planet at once. So let's get every planet here. Mercury, I don't know, I'll just put them still. Oh, don't go yet, Mercury, just chill, we gotta. We gotta put all of them down first. Okay, Jupiter, Saturn, Venus, Neptune, and of course we gotta put Pluto, because everyone loves Pluto. Okay, so here's all of the planets. They're all just chilling here, but as soon as I hit play, they're gonna collide. So I don't know. Let's let's focus on Earth because this is this is where we live. So I'm right here in the United States, so let's see what happens to me. Okay, here it goes. Here goes Jupiter. Oh, <laughs> oh Jupiter immediately wins and just eats everything. And it didn't even like double the size of Jupiter. Jupiter is 35% larger, but otherwise it's not even that much different and it ate everything. All right, we got another suggestion to make a giant bowling ball the size of the moon and make it orbit the earth. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so here's the earth and the moon. So if we wanna make a bowling ball the same size as the moon, let's go over to the moon and we'll add a bowling ball next to it. So Universe Sandbox does have bowling balls actually right here. We'll put it right here to start. Okay, so yes, the bowling ball is gonna be very, very small. So we should just be able to take its radius and just turn it up until we get something that is actually pretty visible. Yeah, there we go, we're getting somewhere. So if we want it the same size as the moon, oh, it's gonna be too close. Let's grab it and move it away. Okay, so the same size as the moon, Oh, that's a little bigger. Okay, so now it is exactly the same size in radius as the moon, but the mass is only 40% of the moon. So the moon's a lot denser than this, but let's save it as the moon bowling ball. So now we should be able to save it, and then we can put it in an orbit closer to Earth. Here's Earth, moon bowling ball right here. Put it in orbit around the Earth. We'll put it pretty close right there and go. Check that out, it works! Okay, it even looks like the moon because of the way that the colors are on the bowling ball. So let's land on the Earth and see what it looks like. So if we landed on here and then looked up, there it is! Oh yeah, that looks like the moon going across the sky. So now let's make it crash into the Earth and see what happens. Okay, launch into America. Here we go. Okay, here it comes. We're gonna slow down time. Oh, oh, it already hit! <laughs> wow! If a bowling ball the size of the moon ever hits Earth, we are in trouble. The entire Earth is covered from the fragments. Let's speed up time and see how the Earth ends up after this moon bowling ball collision. Oh, I can still kind of see the continents. At least I can see Australia and Africa, kind of, and your Eurasia over here, Europe and Asia. Um, America's gone. But that's what would happen. Our next suggestion says you should combine all dwarf planets and moons together and let them orbit the sun. So like combine all of the minor objects to create one major object. Basically, we're gonna create a new rocky planet in the solar system today. So if we're combining all the dwarf planets, we're starting with Pluto. Okay, Pluto right here. Okay, there's Pluto. So now let's combine all of the other dwarf planets. So we're gonna put Ceres, Collision, and combine all these other ones, just basically everything in this menu. So Vesta, Sedna, Amea, Eris. And then we're gonna go and put all the major moons into this mega Pluto now. So it's super hot, it's ejecting its mass right now, but that's okay. Uh, so we're gonna put the moon into that. Phobos, Deimos, Io, Europa, Ganymede, Callisto, Enceladus, Rhea, Titan, Iapetus, Charon. Okay, basically just all of these. And waiting for the rest to go in. Okay, so this is all of the major moons of the solar system and dwarf planets combined into one object, which we have named Mega Pluto. Let's speed up time and wait for it to cool down and see what it's gonna look like. Okay, so it sort of looks like the moon. It's still shooting out fragments. Um, its density is rising rapidly. Whoa, this thing is super low density. But here it is, Mega Pluto, let's save it. Okay, now let's compare it in size to Earth, our Mega Pluto. 
Okay, here's Mega Pluto in comparison to Earth, but let's make it its own planet. Right here, Mega Pluto. So now Pluto is a planet and it orbits the sun. So it's all of the moons and dwarf planets combined. Yeah, perfect. The Mega Pluto planet. Daco Daco says, hey Chip, make the Earth so close to the sun and see what happens. Okay, so let's just move the Earth closer to the sun. Let's put it a little bit closer than Mercury. The Earth is now closer to the sun than Mercury is. And let's set its motion to auto orbit and let's check it out. Oh, okay, it's been like two years. I think it's already, yes. So all the vegetation, oh, there's a little bit up here. Is burning up. Let's turn on surface lock and just watch what happens. Okay, so we're watching it as it goes around the sun. Let's see what happens over a long time. The ice caps are melting. Both Antarctica and the North Pole. All of the vegetation is now dead. It's like desert everywhere. Speed up time even more. Yes, the oceans start to dry up. We get a little bit left up there and down here because those aren't going to be as hot. It looks like the water is kind of staying in there. Um, and this is about after 200 years and let's check its temperature. The average temperature on the planet is 292 degrees Celsius or 557 degrees Fahrenheit, which is insanely hot. So that's what happens if Earth gets put closer to the sun. Jen says launch a random gas giant at Earth and see how much damage it causes. Okay, we're just going to do random. It could be like the same size as Earth. It could be like 10 times bigger. It could just eat Earth. Okay, random gas giant launch. We'll set the time slower and launch it at Earth. Oh, oh, okay. It's a lot bigger than Earth. Let's see what happens. Boom. Okay, yeah, it just ate it. <laughs> it shot out some fragments, but the gas giant is pretty much okay. And we'll speed up time and see what happens to the gas giant at the end. Yeah, completely fine. It took Earth's spot in the orbit. Pretty cool. Wilbert says, hey Chip, can you combine a negative luminosity star and a positive luminosity star and see what happens? Yes. Okay, so if you don't know, I already made a video about negative luminosity stars and actually got a habitable planet around it. So if you have not seen that, go check it out. But basically you can take a star, so we're gonna take the sun and go to luminosity and just make it negative right here, negative luminosity. And this will make it cool things down instead of heat things up and it also gives it this weird effect so if we put let's just put earth right here really close to it you would think that it would burn up but you can see it's actually going to freeze it's starting to freeze already um it still gives off light but that light holds cold energy on it instead of heat energy um yeah so it's frozen over that's what a negative luminosity star is so now we're going to combine the sun with negative luminosity and the sun with positive luminosity and see what happens. I'm actually interested in this. I've never tried this. Okay, here, are these, here the sun comes into the negative luminosity star. I bet they both go supernova. That's my prediction. Okay, seems okay. Oh, yep. Okay, we got a supernova. I don't know if it's one supernova or two. Oh, yeah, they're both gone. So, yes, my prediction was correct. They both went supernova and both of the stars died. That's what happens. Hey Chip, it would be cool if you made the sun really small and the planet really big to see what happens to the system. Okay, so let's make the sun really small. We're gonna have this pause while we do all the adjustments and then we'll play at the end. So really small is what? One tenth of the size? We'll do, we'll make it. Okay, it turned into a planet at that size. So we want, we still want a star. So it's only 10% the size of the original sun. And then we're gonna go to each planet and make them 10 times as big. Okay, done. Every single planet is now 10 times as massive as it was before. You can see Earth looks weird. And oh, it's so dark out here because the sun's only one tenth the size. So let's just watch the entire system at once and click play and see what happens. Okay, Mercury gets launched out, Venus gets launched out. So it looks like the sun's gravity is not strong enough to hold them all in and they all spiral out. Every single planet spirals out. Interesting. So that's what happens with a small sun and big planets. The planets are not big enough to keep themselves together. EK says, hey Chip, can you make the sun have rings? Would be really cool to see that. Let's do it. So in the rings menu right here, we can just add this ring onto it and see what it does. That looks pretty nice. So you can see that they all turned orange because they got so hot. 
Let's do some bigger rings. Let's change this and make it 10 times the outer radius. So this will add some really big rings to the sun. You could see they almost stretch out to Mercury. And we could do, what if we do 10 times that? This might lag the game out. It's already getting pretty laggy. Oh yeah, look, that's stretching beyond Earth, like to the asteroid belt, almost. And 10 times that, all the way out to Uranus, and then 10 times that, and we're, the entire solar system now is in a ring. And a lot of it. Oh, it's so laggy right now. Um, I'm not even gonna play, because if I do, the entire thing will lag. But you could see the frame rate, and then if I hit Control D, it'll clear it all. Oh, the whole game froze. Ah, okay, it worked. And see, it's way smoother. So that's what happens if you get this on rings. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want to see more Universe Sandbox content, leave a like on the video. And once again, use hashtag Earthling in the comments below. You guys are awesome. Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.